Hi guys, so here is update 4 on the Airfix 172 scale uh, Douglas SPD3 Dauntless. So as you can see I've started decaling, pilots installed, I uh, haven't put the canopy on yet, uh, propellers done, uh, side rounds are done, the tail stripes are nearly done. And round wing roundels are done. Oops. Uh, not sure what else there is. Gunners installed, and the identification numbers are done. Painting's all f nearly finished. There's a couple of little touch-ups. I need to paint in the tail wheel. So that's that. And then there'll be a sort of a large wash, which I'm going to wash over. So that will get weathering and here's the bomb this is a 1000 pounder um, on the camera just like it's actually come on so it's got a uh, painted an olive drab uh, I painted it the colour I used is Ravel Aquacolor Gelb Olive Matte, Yellowish Olive in Matte. It's number 42. So, yeah, it's a nice olive drab colour. It's got safety notice and a yellow band around it, the bomb. And these are actually decals from my TBD1 Devastator because uh, I needed the decals from the SPD-3 for the Academy B-17 so I've got them on for this because the Academy decals were actually really rubbish and I also picked up a kit um, Ravel Newport N28C1 in 172 scale. This is a United States Army Air Service World War One fighter, flown by Lou First Lieutenant Eddie Rickenbacker, top U.S. ace. So I was thinking of doing sort of like a dual um, World War One build next after the Dauntless with Newport and the Sop of Triplane. So we'll do them in tandem. So I will see you with the next update with the Dauntless. So bye for now.